And so I wanted to show you guys a quick uh, little tip on uh, something you can use uh, to help service your stick equipment if you don't have a bench to work on or you just want to have more freedom uh, to work around the tool. So uh, let me show you what it is. So I'm just using a simple photography uh, light stand. This is the type of stand uh, you would see. Uh, it extends up higher. You'd see like the big photography lights uh, on there. Uh, but then I'm just using a simple generic uh, photography clamp. These are very uh, generic, very popular. You can find them on uh, Amazon. Uh, they're just like a metal uh, clamp and uh, they've got threaded uh, holes on the side. So there's a small one there. That is your standard like quarter inch uh, tripod uh, type um, thread and then there's a, a larger one there and that larger one there fits uh, the threaded brass uh, piece on the top of these photography light stands so you can just put it on there just screw it on there make sure it's nice and tight but then you can use that to hold your trimmer. So let me set the camera down and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so the biggest thing when you're gonna go and put a trimmer in it is to just remember uh, the weight. Your engine is gonna be the heaviest portion. So I tend to put the clamp as close to the engine as possible. Uh, it's got some nice rubber grips in there too. So you just put your trimmer in there, take the handle, a little tightener there. You can tighten her up as tight as you need it. And uh, it holds uh, the trimmer very, very securely there. It's really nice you, when you're working on it, uh, keeps your posture straight. You're not bent over a bench uh, for long periods of time uh, trying to fix stuff. Um, the other nice thing is you can move uh, completely uh, around the unit and you can t uh, loosen the clamp and actually turn uh, the machine to any orientation uh, that you want. So if you want to be, uh, you know, working on the exhaust port here, uh, you can remove the screws without worrying about dropping the screws, things like that. Um, or, you know, things not lining up. Uh, you can get clear vision of what you're doing and just makes it very, very simple uh, to use. And like I said, you can move all the way around it. Of course, you can uh, start the machine uh, as well with it uh, on there. So overall, it lets you uh, work on your stick equipment very simply and easily uh, and lets you put it like basically in the middle of the shop. So you've got uh, a ton of space around it uh, to work around. Uh, you can, like I said, angle the machine, um, tilt it to whatever direction you need uh, and, uh, you know, just makes it very, very simple. So uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this uh, makeshift uh, you know, a stick uh, equipment uh, stand uh, that I put together for uh, maintaining my uh, stick equipment. So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.